This is helping somebody tonight. Yes, yes. I'm talking about life. Are you moving and operating from a place of condition? All your prayers is about you and yours. Or are you moving from a place of mission? Are you hearing me tonight? Yes. So we have a purpose. We have an assignment given directly from God. Amen? And we must understand that your purpose is very important because God has given you something that others don't have. Meaning this, that no one has the purpose that you have. Hello, somebody. I said, no one has the purpose that you have. And we got to understand that, that our passion will lead us to our purpose. Yes. And our purpose will lead us to our destiny. Yes. And our destiny will reveal our wealth. And our wealth will reveal our influence. And with our influence, we can lead many to the kingdom of God. Now, in doing so, we got to understand that there is a purpose in my life. And because you have a purpose, somebody desperately needs you. You will reward to me, you will reward to, to some, you're not reward to everybody. Everybody don't need you. But somebody needs you. And they desperately need you. And your life is, is, is designed to help them, to deliver But you'll never get into this place unless you come into heaven's alignment, divine alignment. So tonight we're going to talk about are you in divine alignment with your assignment? Because you must only attempt a God-given, God-approved assignment. Amen? A God-given, God-approved assignment. When you purpose or when you pursue something God did not intend for you to have, he is not obligated to sustain you. I'll say that again. When you pursue something God did not intend for you to have, he is not obligated to sustain you, sustain you emotionally, Because you can have an emotional breakdown with a, doing something out of the will of God. Oh my. He is not obligated to sustain you physically. You can have a physical breakdown operating out of a project that God didn't order. The question is, are you in alignment with your assignment? He is not obligated to sustain you financially when you put in your hands to projects and things that God has not called you to operate in. So why do we pursue wrong projects? Come on, this is going to help somebody tonight. Come on, why do we pursue wrong projects? Why do we get into wrong relationships? Why do we get into things that we don't supposed to be involved in? Why do we waste years of our time with people and places and things? Come on, somebody. Move into wrong houses and get the wrong jobs and mess around with the wrong folk and the wrong boyfriends and girls. Marrying the wrong people. Huh? Giving wrong wisdom and wrong information to our children. Why do we do this? Look at the book of Jonah. Jonah, chapter 1. It says, Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it. For their wickedness has come up 
before me. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa. And he found a ship going to Tarshish. So the word of the Lord says, so he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Jonah would have bought a ticket to get away from the plan of God. To jump on a ship. Verse 4. But the Lord sent out a great wind unto the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like to be broken. Now, why did Jonah run from the will of God? I'm talking about pursuing wrong projects. Talking about operating in alignment with your assignment. Why did he run from his assignment? Why do prophets run? Why do apostles run? Why don't we don't, why don't we give the word of the Lord when God tells us to give the word of the Lord? Hmm? Why don't we prophesy to certain people? Why don't we do what God tells us to do? Jonah ran from his assignment, number one. Jonah did not know the ways of God, number two. But he was acquainted with the judgment of God. Jonah, you know, he, 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 he was an Israelite. And he knew about how Israel did not submit to the plan of God. How Israel was in disobedience. And he's seen how Israel But the Bible teaches that Moses knew the ways of God and the children of Israel knew the acts of God. A lot of times, we don't operate from our place of assignment because we don't know the ways of God. We don't know the ways of God. We, we, we do things because we don't really know what God really thinks about this particular project or topic. If God assigned you to do something, you better believe he, he got great investment into that thing. Hello, somebody. If God tells you to plant a church, there's reason why he wants you to plant that church. If God tells you to start a business, there's reason why he wants you to start the business. Huh? Yes. God tells you to enter into a relationship. God tells you to sow a seed. There's reason why he's trying to get something to you. Here's Jonah running away from the will of God. How can you run away from God? You know, God tells you to do something, you're going you, you to get on the red line. <laughs> you know, and, and catch the L train, get a ticket. I'm going all the way to Howard, to the end of the line. You know, I'm getting away from God.
I'm going to get away. But the Bible teaches that even while he was on the ship, God began to stir up the wind. Stir up the winds. And the men that were on the ship didn't even reverence God. Heathens. They were more sensitive to the God of Jonah than God was, than Jonah was sensitive to, to, to the God of Israel. They began to cry and repent. And God heard their prayer. And reveal unto them that there was somebody on this ship. We got, we got a curse on this ship. Somebody on this ship not doing the will of God. Somebody is not in alignment. Somebody is not doing right. How come you not obeying God? What's wrong with you? Do you know when you do not, when you do not humble yourself to do the will of God, that you can disturb and destroy your own environment? You can mess in alignment with your assignment. Come on, somebody. 